Hello and welcome to the Economic Times. This is a special series that we're doing and we're calling it TV Cricnomics. In this series, we look at the association of brands with India's most popular sport and they look to capture and how they look to capture the fans' interest on television. And if it is about brands, it has to be on brand equity. Well, brands are doing that too. Cricket viewership on television is on the upswing, and that is where they or the brands want to be too. And that is what data from the ICC World Cup, you know, about the expanding viewership is telling for the ICC World Cup or the IPL last year. That's what it, the data is suggesting. Neha Anand, Vice President and Head of Global Brand and Marketing Communications, Automotive Division at m and joins us to talk about cricket and how brands are looking to ride the opportunity. Thank you so much, Neha, for taking out the time to be with us. Thank you so much, uh, Ashutosh, for having me on this forum. Looking forward to an so, interesting conversation. Okay, so let's start with the questions. And first, m and was one of the prominent advertisers during the record-breaking ICC Men's World Cup 2023. I was reading about it, and you showcase a wide range of product categories, SUVs, tractors, electric SUVs range as well. So a little bit of a mix of established brands and new launches. What were your key objectives that you wanted to achieve and with the campaign on television and how much did you go about achieving it? Right. Thanks, Ashutosh, for that question. So, you know, cricket is a religion for Indians and this was a very unique World Cup, you know, happening here in India for all of us. Uh, and so we said, why not leverage this opportunity to really, uh, you know, try and bring in the new Mahindra into light. So if you would have seen, you know, for the last few years, uh, you know, and especially after we launched the XUV700, uh, which was in 2021, the idea has been to focus more on a, on a tech-led, uh, you know, product offering. Uh, and post that the Scorpio N. And so we, we thought this would be a great uh, partnership, uh, you know, uh, working both with Star TV and with, uh, you know, Hot Star to really put our new message out there, which was, uh, you know, technology leadership in the automotive space. Uh, we also got our, uh, you know, uh, the Mahindra tractors and, uh, you know, not to miss our Born Electric messaging uh, also mm. present during the ICC World Cup. So again, you know, cricket is, like I said, it's a religion. It's, it's watched by millions across different age groups. And we said we must leverage this opportunity. Uh, you know, even in the tractors business, uh, if you saw our messaging, it was around the new age tractors, the whole technology behind our tractors. That was the messaging, uh, you know, that we, uh, that most of our communication had. And on the Born Electric, uh, you know, since we don't have our products right now available in the market, the idea was at least to use this opportunity uh, to introduce uh, that we would be entering this space and that we are here, uh, you know, to make noise within the electric domain. So, so uh, to... very, very, sure. yeah, very, very interesting. You're right. Very interesting set of products. Uh, even within our SUV category, we had the Thar, the Scorpio N, the 700, more of the, uh, you know, the modern SUVs, the newer SUVs that we wanted to kind of put out there. Uh, and the focus on a KPI perspective was to change perception. You know, Mahindra is known mm -hmm. for its safety, uh, mm -hmm. reliability. Uh, you know, that's what the brand has been known for so many years, right? And this was really an, an opportunity for us to uh, bring in the new uh, messaging on high tech, bring in the new messaging on high on design, sophistication, you know, and that's what our messaging, uh, you know, kind of tried to do. And answering your second part, did were we able to achieve this? I mean, it, it's very heartwarming to, uh, you know, when we saw the numbers, uh, there was a, uh, we were number one on brand power. We do this study with Kantar every quarter. And it was very, uh, you know, encouraging to see that we were number one on brand power, uh, you know, across, uh, you know, all these brands for that particular quarter. So the needle really moved for us uh, with this association. Uh, specifically, you know, if you look at within the imagery uh, domain on sci-fi, on sophistication, that's where we really saw good movement. Uh, so yeah, I think the the initiative and the partnership really worked well for us. Uh, you know, not to take away, uh, there were obviously uh, interesting ways in which we ran our campaign. You know, we we actually ran high frequency, mm. uh, more snackable kind of content, shorter content, so we would get more airtime. 
Uh, mm -hmm. So some of those really helped us, uh, you know, some of and some other innovations as well. So some of those automobiles that were advertised during the ICC World Cup on television were targeted towards premium audi audiences. So what kind of impact did HD, and particularly for people watching that HD part of it, what kind of impact did it have on that cohort of audiences? Right. So, you know, I would like to proudly say we are more of a digital first organization. Last few years, we've really led and you know how COVID has really helped mm -hmm. organizations kind of move towards digital. And this was one large initiative this time on World Cup where we said we have to focus through television. Uh, and HD specifically, right? Today, if you see the viewers of uh, HD, they are more of the metro, uh, the modern yeah. Indians, uh, right? Uh, high, I would say high medium income uh, professionals, executives, you know, and that's the target audience we were looking for, for specifically our three, uh, you know, PVs, the Scorpio, the, uh, you know, the Thar and the XUV 700. And when we saw the metrics move for these three brands in the right direction, especially on the front of sci-fi, which is, which is high-end technology and sophistication, uh, you know, we, we believe HD really worked well for us because those were the metrics we were trying to kind of move from a perception perspective. And we were able to see some uh, movement there. Also on the born electric vehicles, you know, electric again, uh, uh, you know, I would say the primary audience is the metro audience. Uh, so kind of driving that message that Mahindra has entered into this space and we are here to stay. I think that messaging also did really well, uh, you know, on, on through the HD channels. Okay. Also on the campaign itself, with your campaign during the World Cup, ICC World Cup, how did the trade partners rec respond to your, com uh, to your campaign? And how did it give them a leg up vis-a-vis -vis competition, let's say in specific categories, if you would like to mention that? You know, for our trade partners, uh, any large initiative like that puts in a lot of confidence even, you know, for them. Uh, that a brand like Mahindra is uh, making X number of spends to really make that change in perception. So they see a large investment from our end. They see a large commitment from our end. And that itself gives them a, a lot of com uh, you know confidence uh, to take their messaging forward at the field level. Uh, what we also did very interestingly, while we did more of the television partners, uh, you know, for the upper funnel, at the lower funnel, we were running some very interesting uh, campaigns at the dealership end. Uh, and that kind of really, you know, whether it was uh, getting uh, people to do test drives, uh, you know, for getting tickets or meeting some of the players. I mean, that all kind of worked really well. In the past, we've done it with IPL mm -hmm. as well. Uh, and for World Cup as well, it kind of uh, worked very well. So I think the whole uh, partnership on this uh, really went well with the dealerships, uh, with our field teams. Uh, and then we we keep hearing back after that from them on when are we going to do the next phase on this. So, <laughs> uh, so yeah, it, and I think it really helped with the football. You know, what mm. some of these uh, initiatives do, they really kind of build in the uh, consumer confidence. And we saw a lot of football uh, during this period uh, of the World Cup. Yes, it was festive season as well. So a combination of, uh, you know, festive along with, uh, you know, high frequency ads that we were running uh, during the World Cup and this whole sponsorship partnership. In fact, uh, you know, we do this uh, independent study uh, with another organization where, uh, you know, the results were also very encouraging, showing us as on a recall value as number one on a sponsorship uh, from a sponsorship perspective on television. Uh, number three on uh, digital, uh, which was more hot star because that space was more cluttered. But on TV, we were number one from a sponsorship perspective. So that was also very encouraging to see. And uh, I think it's really helped build a lot more confidence at the dealership level also and at the consumer end. Okay, fantastic speaking to you, Neha. What, so wonderful to hear when brands are interested in sport and, uh, well, Indian sports person, they also do well. It's so heartening to see for every Indian, all the 140 crore Indians. Thank you so much for taking out the time. Thank you so much, Ashutosh. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nice to connect with you. Thank you. Bye-bye.